Good morning. This is Kasturi Day. I was uh, continuing in my previous video about the mirror, uh, reflection. I mean the light energy rather. It is the light energy or light you can say. Uh, so I was continuing with the mirror, plane mirror. So I will start with the characteristic of the images formed by a plane mirror. Okay. It is always formed behind the mirror. That is a virtual image it is formed. It forms a virtual image that is formed behind the mirror. Image formed behind the mirror. As far behind the mirror as the object is front of it. How much far uh, the image is formed is that much far the object is in front of it. Okay, the distance between the object and the mirror will be equal to the distance between the image and the mirror. Okay. Erect or the same side uh, up, same side up as the object. It is an erect image. Okay. So, first condition is virtual. The distance between the object and the mirror is equal to the distance between the mirror and the image. It should, it is an erect image that is upside, upside down. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry, I mean downside, down. Okay, as you are standing in front of the mirror, your image will also be uh, in that way. Okay. On the same size as the object, how much size you are showing in front of the mirror, uh, that same size will be the images formed. Then it should be laterally inverted. Your right side becomes left. And left side becomes right in front of the mirror. Okay. The image which is formed. So that is laterally inverted. So first one is virtual image. Second is the distance between the mirror and the object is equal to the distance between the image and the mirror. It is an erect image. Okay. And the same size as the object and it is laterally inverted. Five characteristics of the images of the plane mirror. Now, what it is used, where it is used, the plane mirror uses. The, it is used as a looking glass, used in box type solar cookers to reflect sun rays towards the vessels to be heated. Okay, <laughs> used in solar cooker, that is box type solar cookers. Used by army personnel and scouts for signaling. Then, it is used to provide false dimensions to a small room the mirror image okay the mirror image of a small space gives a perception of double the space okay then used in showcases that display jewelry or wrist watches and wrist watches two plane mirrors are placed at an angle or parallel to each other leading to the formation of multiple images of the displayed articles then used in periscopes or kaleidoscopes and solar cookers Used in optimal instruments and devices. Okay. Now what is the speed of light? Speed of light is 3 lakh kilometer per second or 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second in vacuum. It's the maximum speed of light. In air, the same value for practical purposes, it is considered as the same as that of the vacuum. Okay, in water it is 2.25 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. In alcohol it is 2.20 into 10 to the power meter per second. In kerosene it is 2.17 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. And in glass it is 1.8 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Then what is the color of an object? When we see objects due to the reflection of light falling on them, Okay, we see objects due to the reflection of light falling on them. It may be, uh, may be that is responsible for the color of the object seen by us. Okay, now uh, if we pass white light, that is sun light, okay, through a glass prism, that white light splits into its constituent colors. This shows that the white light is made up of seven constituent colors. What are those? The vib gyor, you can say. Okay, that band of seven colors, the seven colors, constituent colors are known as the band of seven colors called 
spectrum. Okay, so what are the constituent colors? That is, you can uh, learn that uh, learn that color uh, band in the, this way as Vib Gyor. What is V stands for? V for violet, I for indigo, B for blue, G for green, Y for yellow, O for orange, and R for red. Okay. Now here the colors are seen in a reverse order. In the spectrum, we see the colors in the reverse order. We uh, write it as Vibgyor, but in spectrum we'll see it will be in the reverse order. That is red will be at the top and violet will be at the bottom. An example of this spectrum is rainbow. I'll discuss the rainbow in the later section. Okay. The, so... The colors. Colors are of two types. The primary and secondary colors. Okay. Primary colors are red, green and blue. Whereas secondary colors are yellow, cyan and magenta. Okay. Now what are primary colors? The primary colors are the basic colors you can say which cannot be obtained from other colors. Okay. It is not made by mixing any other color. Okay. So, uh, these three colors, that is red, green and blue, they combine to form white light. Okay. All these colors created out by the combination of these colors. Okay. All the other colors, all the other colors, that is yellow, cyan, magenta, white, even white, all are formed by the mixing of these three colors. Okay. So, uh, mixing primary colors of light in varying proportion can produce a wide range of other colors. Okay. Now we come to secondary colors. Secondary colors are produced by mixing any two primary colors. Okay. Like the secondary colors are, for example, are yellow, cyan and magenta. Now how to form yellow, red and green combination forms yellow, green Green and blue combination becomes cyan. Blue and red forms magenta. Okay. Now, a color TV or a computer screen has array of tiny spots. Lots of tiny spots they have. Each spot is composed of three phosphor drop dots corresponding to the primary colors. That is red, green and blue. They are composed of three phosphor dots corresponding to the primary colors as red, green and blue. The colors seen on the screen are due to the combination of these primary colors. Okay. So they have tiny spots, array of tiny spots. These three uh, spots are composed of three phosphor dots corresponding to the primary colors. And the colors seen on the screen are due to the combination of these primary colors colors okay now we come to colors of an object based on the reflection and absorption okay so the color of an object depends upon the color of the light reflecting on it reflected by it sorry reflected by it okay the color of the object like the green color or the blue color or red color whatever is the color of the object upon the color of the light depends upon the color of the light reflected by it. What color the light is reflecting back that uh, is the cause why the color of the object is seen. The color of the reflected light depends upon the color of the light falling on the object. Okay. One is what is what color it is the object is reflecting back and another is what color of light is falling on that object two cases are there okay uh, say when white light falls on the object when white light is falling off the object what happens uh, on a non-luminous opaque object when white light is falling on non-luminous opaque object possibility is falling what happens when all the colors of white light are reflected back by the object. All the colors of white light that is red, green, blue all are reflected back by the object. In such a condition the object appears white because all the colors recombine to form white light. So the object appears white. Now when all the colors of white light are absorbed by the object. 
the reverse condition. For in where first condition, all are reflected back here. All the light is absorbed. All the colors of the white light are absorbed. In that case, the object appears black because no color of the white light is reflected back by the object. So the appear. So the object appears black when all the colors except one are absorbed by the object. What happens when all the colors are except one are absorbed? In such a situation, the object appears to have the color of the reflected light. What color of light is reflected back? That color will be the object. Okay. We will see that color. Okay. The other colors have been absorbed by the object. For example, a red rose in sunlight appears red. Because it reflects red light and absorbs all the other colors present in the white light. That, will, that is why the object appears red. Okay. When colored light, the second case is when the colored light falls on the object. First condition was when white light falls on the object. When he, In this condition, when colored light falls on the object. The color of an object also depends upon the color of the light falling on it. There are various situations. <coughs> First, when a white light colored object is seen in a colored light. White colored object, sorry. When a white colored object is seen in a colored light. What happens? When a colored light falls on the white object, it does not absorb any light. Okay. When colored light. Say it may be red, blue, green, whatever it is. When it falls on a white object, it does not reflect any light. Okay. It does not absorb, sorry. It does not absorb any light. Instead, it reflects back. Therefore, white object in a colored light appears to have the same color of the colored light. For example, a white rose appears red in red light. In blue light, it appears blue. Second condition, when a colored object is seen in the same colored light. Okay, when a colored object is seen in the same colored light, it appears to be of the same color as the same color is reflected by it. For example, a red rose appears red in red light. Third condition, when a colored object is seen in a different colored light. Okay, in that case what happens? When a colored light falls on a different colored object, the object appears black because no light is reflected from it. For example, a red rose appears black when seen in blue light. Okay. So, I stop here. I will continue with the color subtraction. Okay. In the next video. So, please go through these videos. If you have any doubt, please let me know. Write in the comment box. And uh, if you like the video, press the like button. And if you are uh, a new a new viewer to my channel or if you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe so that you can get the notification of my next video. Thank you.